Live your life to the fullest each and every day. Make sure you give it all to God. Do everything you can to make everybody around you blessed. Because one day, all this life that we lived, it'll just be a memory.
Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm out here in the close to getting close to the mid part of August here. Just wrapped up a boondocking video. Just out here today by myself doing another ATV overland camping cooking video. Just having a great time. I don't have Nelly with me this time, which I'm really upset about, but I just I'm not able to handle her with the quad and shooting the video it's just too difficult once I get settled in like this I'd love to have her but it's such a run to go back to the house and get her I'm gonna be going to get me some firewood here shortly worked on a fire pit here just a little bit ago I'm pretty good ways away I can go get some creek rock but I think I can contain this fire up here just like this and I'm gonna get me a get me some wood gathered up and I'm gonna start in on supper and I'm going to be cooking something a little bit different tonight. You know, I've been eating chicken and broccoli, but I'm craving chili tonight. It's going to be in the low 60s, low to mid 60s later on. I thought a nice bowl of chili would hit the spot. So I'll be working on that after a while, getting it done. And I got the new Coleman stove out here. I had a guy donate the Coleman gas stove to me and the lantern, the new Coleman lantern, which I really appreciate it. Kevin Beeler, if you're watching, appreciate you. Glad you guys are with me. Be sure and subscribe. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the support from the other videos. And let's get some supper going.
how does it get any better? Out here by myself, enjoying peace and quiet. Been a, you know, just been a rough work week. Been running around all over the country, trying to get them quarters, making ends meet. <laughs> I am having a ball. Don't know exactly how this chili is going to turn out, but I think it's going to taste pretty good out here. I figure anything you make out in a camping trip like this, ATV overlanding, it tastes pretty daggone good to me. Here's where the magic really starts to happen. Got that burger nice and browned up with those onions in there. And I don't even think I'm going to drain the grease out of there. There's not that much in there. Gives it a little character, we think. One way to find out, sports fans. I'm going to sprinkle that in there like that. Get a little bit of drinking water in there to get it all out. A little bit of moisture in there with it. Work that in nice and even. At this point, I'm going to turn the stove down. Pretty happy with this Coleman stove. Like I said, it was donated to me. And I am ever thankful for it. Now we're just going to mix that in there until it's nice and pretty. Flatten it out. Let that simmer for a second. Alright, it is time. We're just going to Put the old South Southgate all beef chili with beans in there. I really should have stayed away from the beans, but we're gonna see how it goes. Now we're gonna go with one can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies original. Just dump that on there. No particular means or method, just get it on there. And then one more can of chili right on top. And as always, I have made entirely too much for one person, but that's all right. We are thankful. Now I'm going to turn that down to just a, just a small amount of heat and start to mix that in real good. And this is the part where somebody's at home getting real hungry right about now. And this ain't nothing fancy, you guys. This is just some campfire chili for some reason I was craving it tonight and I'm just gonna let that do its own thing curious how that's gonna taste because it's got that garlic seasoning in there some of you aren't a fan of garlic but I absolutely love it you know that I got that heat turned down and we're just gonna let that do its own thing Well, I would say it's about time to eat some supper, you guys. Looky here, looky here. Ooh, no noodles, which I love macaroni noodles and chili. Some would argue it ain't chili if you do that. Look at there. Little cheese. Let me know if you guys eat chili this way. And we're a long ways from the nearest bathroom. Not too, not really. We go out here in Mother Nature. Well, let's get him a little peppers going. But if uh, if he's don't agree with me the right way, we're gonna have to get right out here somewhere. I'm gonna have to bring you in on that. I want you to look. Boy, somebody testify. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at there. Yeah. Candlelight supper. Oh, yeah. A little candlelight supper. First things first.
I might start my own cooking show. But boy, that chili is bringing it home. I thought about bringing some peanut butter and some celery since I, I ain't been eating crackers <clears throat> and bread. I mean, peanut butter sandwich is awesome. I cut out my bread a long time ago and crackers. I really ought not be eating these beans, but a little bit of a cheat night, I'd say. Appreciate you all being with me. I want to try to light this camp up in a little bit. I've got that new lantern I'm going to fire up. Got the old solar lantern, which is acting funny on me. Good times, boys. Good times. If that ain't what it's all about right there, I don't know what is. By now you guys have bound to have seen the boondocking video that I released and you seen that one little segment in there where I was running that fan. Man, that just spoiled me. I, I got my battery powered fan. <laughs> Look here. I ain't gonna lie. I have been getting at it and I am hot and it's that time of evening we're starting to cool down. I need to get dried out because I sure ain't gonna lay down all sweaty like this. But I got my little bitty fan going here. I ain't gonna lie, honey. And it absolutely does not get any better than this. Well, I wish the girls were here. If they were here, I'd top it off. Plum, top it off. But I love it. Sitting by this fire. The only sound of modern technology that I got is this little bitty dollar tree fan that i got right here running on d batteries other than that we are primitive right about now and that camping stove i believe is going to stay right there in that little trailer that is just handy as all get out and i cannot wait till this winter deer hunting and it come a big storm a big snowstorm or something like it did last year check out this footage from last year, opening day of deer season, southern Indiana. Unbelievable. I sat in the deer stand all day, never seen the first deer. Everything was hunkered down. And we got about five inches of snow. I parked the ranger. And then I got some video of me going and getting in the ranger later on that evening. Unbelievable. But boy, wouldn't it have been nice to have this little camping stove throw it up on the tailgate of the ranger and made some good lunch right there. And I think I survived off by any sausages and coffee that day. Another absolute must on a camping trip is a good flashlight. I've got this Predator Tactics Labor flashlight. Man, that's the real deal. I've lost it for two years and finally found it. I spotted some last minute firewood right here. I'd rode over a while ago with the fuller when I went and got all that other crap. I'm gonna gather these pieces 
take him up there. Might as well burn him. What would a good camp video be without a proper tour right before get ready to shut her down for the night? Take you all around, show you what I got. So here's that new Coleman Lantern. Man, that thing works great. Really happy with that. So I just went and gathered up some more firewood. Got a real good fire going. Then got the camp cleaned up, pulled the foiler up here. I'm gonna get my light out for you guys. Pulled my foiler up here. Parked it for the night, real close to the tent. There's my table I brought. I had that inside the little trailer. He's probably about two foot tall and every bit of five foot long. Pretty cool addition to the camper trailer, the ATV Overland Tiny Trailer. Got the tent, got me a lantern in there this time. Chairs all set up. And over here in the dark is the little trailer. I don't know if you guys noticed it earlier, but I'm gonna show you something real quick. Open this guy up here. Oh yeah, fully lit up. Put my trash in here so the coons won't mess with that tonight. Got me a lighter in there. Moving on up like George and Wheezy. Living our best life. And just when you guys thought that you had everything figured out, Rongo Dongo. I gave you a tour of the of the new camper on the last video. I thought, why not give you a tour of the inside of this Paradise Cove? We got the lantern, the chandelier hanging. We got the fan going, extra batteries. 300 blackout AR. So many people ask me what I carried out here when I go camping. And I really like the 300 blackout carrying the glock nine millimeter with me you guys have asked a question about that what am i carrying on this camping trip or on the previous camping trip when i did this so i was carrying the glock nine millimeter got the light on there guys we're gonna wrap it up for tonight i'm gonna sleep next to the old ar tonight the way i like it god bless america god bless you all i'll see you in the morning around breakfast time we're gonna do it real big like we always do we ain't gonna have to do nothing i'll see you guys in the morning start these camping mornings off guys cheers having a black rifle coffee this morning with a black rifle guys I'm gonna get breakfast going I'm glad you all stayed with me and stayed the night and we're up cheers hope you're drinking a black rifle coffee this morning i love to do these things on the camping trips i drink hot coffee during the week going to work but man do these hit the spot nice and cold when you get up on a camping trip if you have not tried it it's black rifle coffee espresso 300 triple shot and believe it or not get those at the dollar store three bucks really get you going just give them a little bit of cutting this morning a pretty neat little kit here this chopping block kit I got my father-in-law got me that Sasquatch got me that for my birthday I think it was and it's a blackstone kit like your blackstone grills and it's got a little compartment here it's got two it comes with two knives and this chopping board and then this thing pops on down you can store stuff in it Yeah, let's get the sausage dropped in there. I think we're just gonna go with a couple patties this morning. I think we're gonna do three eggs, two sausage patties. Well, those sausages are coming along pretty good. Now it's time to go ahead and bring on the action. 
come to life this morning. Oh yeah. Time to put something on your plate and see what you did. Look here. I'm just gonna go with the light row. Woo Maybe a little speckle here. A little speckle there. And like I said, you ain't living right unless you're living it with hot sauce. You all know that. And we're gonna do one more. Look here. Mmm, my goodness. Sour cream on eggs? Are you kidding me? Somebody out there is like, what in the heck? What, boys? Don't knock it unless you've tried it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And there we go. Country style breakfast. Made to devour. How big of a crime would it be if I was to close out the video and not have my breakfast by this big rock that I ran across yesterday? Thought I'd enjoy this with you all. See what you think. It's about a good old country breakfast. Out here living my best life. You guys be sure and stay tuned. Next time you see me, I think I'm gonna be doing this same thing, but squirrel hunting. I'm gonna go out and take some squirrels on an ATV overlanding trip. That'll be coming real soon. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of this. Appreciate you guys for joining me. You know, we're definitely gonna do it again. And I will see you next time. Live your life to the fullest each and every day. Make sure you give it all to God. Do everything you can to make everybody around you blessed. Because one day, all this life that we live, it'll just be a memory.